let us continue our very important line of code that is select start from gl where so earlier we have learned that we can filter any column of data using an equal sign and the column name so for example we learned that where territory key equals three we can filter down that data but what if if i have to filter down a column of data where the data is not a specific number but that is either text or that is a date how we can handle that let us do it one by one first of all let us try the date so i have to say select a star from G, from gl where date is equal to now since the input that i am giving now is not a number it's going to be a date i will be giving an inverted commas so i will be writing my data in the inverted commas and now let us say we are looking for the date of 30th of june 2019 now please make sure that you type the date in these inverted commas in the same format as it is given in the database so in my case you can see it is year followed by month followed by date so i would say 2019 06 and 30 so that is 30th of june 2019 and press f5 and you can see that now your data has been filtered to only 154 rows and all of these have the same date that is 30th of june 2019 so i hope that you have found this very easy now similarly if you have to filter down data using the details column i mean the column which contains text you will be using the same technique i mean you will be using the inverted commas so let us say we want to filter down our data to see the salaries only to only the only those rows where the details column contains salaries so let us go back i would say select the star from gl where details is equal to inverted commas and salaries press f5 please keep your eye here right now we have 27909 rows and when i press f5 you only have 504 rows now and you can see all of these rows are those rows where the details column is equal to salaries so with this now we are done with this first operator that is equal signs and i have taught you that using this equal sign you can filter down all the data for any specific parameter but the good news is that equals to sign is not the only operator that we have but we also have others like less than greater than not equal to so let us do that so let us go back to our basic uh, data where there is select star from gl everything here and now let us say select a star from gl where account key is for example say greater than 200 so right now you can see that i have not pressed f5 at the moment at this moment you can see i have my data and there are so many different account keys many of them are clearly smaller than uh, 200 now when i press run or press f5 you can see all the data has been filtered down and i am only seeing the rows where the account key is greater than 200 so this way you can actually go and specify the ledgers which is passive which are you know for any specific report but this is just the beginning let us move forward so i would say select a star from gl where account key is greater than 200 now let us try it otherwise where account key is less than 200 so now opposite way and press f5 and you can see now that you are only seeing the accounts only seeing the transactions where the account key is less than 200 so done with less than or greater than let us talk about one more that is uh, not equal to so we know we know that equals is written this way right so how do we write not equals to in sql well we give this sign i mean less than and greater than sign together 
and let us say now you can see in my view i have the accounts that are appearing as 60 60 let us say we want to say that where the account key is not equal to 60 let us press f5 and the expectation is there should not be any row here where the account key is 60 press f5 now and you can see that you have everything here in your data but not the 60 the 60 account key is not appearing now with this now let us talk about our last filter command which is also a very interesting one and that is between so let us go back to original state where it was select a star from gl so we have everything seen here but now let us say that we want to see the data between two specific dates or between two specific account keys let us begin with account keys so i would say select a star from gl where account key between and now let us give the account keys that we have for example say i want to see between 1 and 30 only 1 and 30 and press uh, 30 and press f5 and now you can see the account keys that you are seeing here is only between 1 and 30 right so these are 10 30 and it can be 20 as well but it cannot go above 30 and it cannot go below 1 similarly we can use the same between command uh, to filter down the data for any specific period let us say i only want to see the data for 2019 january so what i will do is i would say select a star from gl where date between now please don't forget we need to use inverted commas 2019 01 and uh, 01 and then i would say and well that was the beginning date now let us talk about the ending date that is 2019 zero one for month and for the month of january we have 31 days so i would say that please select a star from gl where date is between 1st of january 2019 and 31st of january 2019 and press f5 and you can see that my data is now only for the month of january if i keep scrolling down you can see that the dates are changing but the month and the year is always fixed at of 2019 i mean january of 2019 with this i would say that our basic line of code that is select a star from the table where all those conditions meet is now complete and after this we are now ready to move to the other parts but before that i would request you to please spend some time playing around this and get confident with this first line of code because this will become the foundation for all the remaining queries as well.